Hello, uh, Ryan here. I just wanted to uh, produce a video for you guys to go over why there is no more ICND2 content on my channel and what the future of the channel entails. Um, we're gonna go over that in a bit. First, I'm just gonna go outside, go for a walk, grab a cup of tea, and then we'll sit down and go over it. Um, anything I discuss today, I'll put links into the description below. And uh, I'll also put timestamps, so if you wanna skip over all the rubbish and get to the <laughs> content while I'm talking again, brilliant. Going for a walk, going to get a cup of tea, and then we can talk about the ICND2. So, a lot of you have been asking, where is the ICND2? I've produced a couple of videos, and the rest. Um, don't exist and I keep getting messaged where are they well unfortunately with the recent announcement from Cisco it's been very tricky for me to release the videos because as we know um, the ICND 2 and ICND 1 uh, are both are no longer exams from February onwards so it's kind of pointless for me to put a lot of hours and effort into these videos um, release them for only a handful of people to have them for a couple of weeks before they're kind of partially irrelevant and people don't want to watch them anymore. Um, so because of that, uh, I've decided not to produce any more ICND2 videos and instead focus my efforts on the new CCNA and start to put together a free CCNA uh, course for uh, February's release and, and onwards. So it's been a tricky uh, situation to be in because of how successful the CCENT was, I really wanted to sort of carry on with the ICND2, but it's not going to be possible with the timeframes. Now, that being said, um, what I do want to talk about is if you're doing the ICND2 right now, you should continue to do that. Um, use content from INE and CBT Nuggets and Cisco Press. With that and GNS3 Packet Tracer, that's more than enough to get your CCNA and it should really only take kind of a couple of months to obtain that, assuming you've obviously taken the two-part exam approach and you've already done the first part. So continue what you're doing. Um, any questions, any um, confusion about certain technologies and you want to reach out, contact me on LinkedIn, Twitter, leave a comment on YouTube, and I'll try to answer some of those questions. Um, but hopefully you now understand why I'm not going to do any more ICND2 and that you won't be so surprised now when you start to see uh, new CCNA content coming out. So the other thing I wanted to talk about is the future of the channel. So my plans are to produce the new CCNA um, videos themselves and the new CCMP and actually introduce other vendors into the channel like Juniper and Fortinet to give people kind of um, a broader view of networking and security in general rather than just being Cisco driven. Um, but I also want to change the way that I produce the content. So I want to get in front of the camera more, uh, become more connected with you guys and actually get more hands on rather than just doing presentations with pen overlays. But I know that that in itself is sort of working very well and I've got a lot of positive feedback. So at the same time, I don't want to change too much of what I'm actually trying to do. So any comments or suggestions of how you think I can improve uh, my content, please give it back, you know, feedback into the comments. Let me know, private message me. Um, and things like this now with this new camera, I've, it's all new to me. Um, same with lightings and, and, and so forth. That's probably why it's probably not going to look great, but hopefully it does. Um, so I will kind of learn as I go along with this and no doubt that the content itself will, will improve as, as we kind of go on this journey. Um, but other than that, 
quite excited for 2020. Um, keen to produce a lot of content for you guys and sort of get you involved as a community to actually help each other out. Um, so we can look at uh, building a community uh, rather than sort of me talking to you. I want you to also teach me stuff. That's all I wanted to say in this video. Didn't want to have it too long. One last thing, I do want to do a giveaway. I've reached 20,000 subscribers now, which is absolutely insane. Thank you very much. Let me know what you think the giveaway should be in the comment section below. That'd be really useful. And I can look about organizing something to give back to you guys and some method of doing it. So that'd be interesting. Let me also know your goals for 2020 and how I might be able to help you with them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, Happy New Year. All the best.